everyone, I am Mike Scorpio of Mike Tendo 64 and this is our Mike Tendo 64 Direct where we bring news and updates directly to you. This is a very special uh, Mike Tendo 64 Direct as we are paying respects to com commemorate the deeds of Satoru Huata who passed away exactly one year today of the viewing of this video or the airing of this video even, uh, Satoru Iwata. So I'm going to, to read what I've, I've written down, just in case I lose track as I'm doing this video. So I'm going to read it out loud. It has been a year since ex-president of Nintendo, Satoru Iwata, Satoru Iwata, sorry, passed away. He was an inspiration to everyone, including fans and competitive developers alike. He brought great joy to many a Nintendo fan with amazing games and consoles under his guidance. He was highly capable of turning many misfortunes around, including saving uh, Howl Laboratory from bankruptcy, and also he has saved Nintendo countless times through financial difficulty, sometimes by even cutting his own salary in order to keep the workforce on and to stop to, to avoid them from facing the sack. He was truly an everyman and a role model to look up to and would no doubt have turned the stigma surrounding the way you around if he just had a little bit more time. It is a great shame that he passed away when he did as I will never get the opportunity to thank him, uh, to meet the man and tell him personally how much I appreciate his work and his achievements. I am a Nintendo fan through and through and it is down to the hard work of Satoru Iwata, Shigeru Miyamoto and E.G. Inuma. To commemorate the man and pay our respects, the Mike Tendo 64 team have a few words that I'm going to read out along with uh, a couple of our fans and followers as well. They have messages for me that I'm going to read out for this Mike Tendo 64 Direct. To thank him for his efforts, to thank him for the joy that he has brought us with his love of video games, for the path he chose in life that has inspired others to follow their own path rather than the one chosen for them. So I am going to uh, start reading out some of these messages now. One, The first one from a member of my own team, he's the editor in chief, it's Jack Longman. Give me one moment, I'm just going to find it here on the uh, computer. I've got all the, all the messages written down here. Just got to find it now. This is my Jack Longman, my editor in chief. He says, What can I say about the man who was a legend whilst he was alive? And now, even more so, now he is gone. Everything he touched was magic, and he was behind some of my most beloved games, such as being the producer for Pokemon Snap and an executive producer for Endless Ocean. He is a man who gave his life to the industry and gave us a ton of great games. And although he may be gone, at least his life's work is still here for us to continue to enjoy. You are missed, Iwata-san, but never forgotten. Alex Cerula Mateo now, uh, Mr. Panda of Mr. Panda's Game Reviews. He says, well, I've lost it now. Oh dear, I'll come back in a minute, let's find it, here we go. On July 11th, 2015, I was looking up Nintendo news like any other day. One headline caught my interest. Satoru Iwata, president of Nintendo, has passed away. My heart skipped to beat. Surely this was some kind of joke. I couldn't believe the man I had been following through hours of Nintendo Directs could be gone. I read and reread the article, hoping that something would change. After one final reread, my heart sank. I needed a moment alone to process everything. Suddenly my eyes watered up and I began to cry. I couldn't believe I was shedding tears for a man whom I didn't know personally. But it was happening. Iwata meant so much to me that I couldn't help but weep for his passing. Since then I realised why his death had such an impact on me. Iwata was the first president of Nintendo who was willing to open himself up so much. In both Japanese and English, he delivered Nintendo Directs with a pleasant tone and a warm smile. 
He was the kind of personality you were willing to invite into your home through direct. He understood his audience, even when the gaming public did not. When he first came back after a year of absence from direct, his body didn't look like it was in the best of shape. It was clear he was going through something. But when you listened to him talk about Nintendo, you could never tell that anything was wrong. Iwata was as happy as ever, even during the last time we saw him, when his likeness was immortalised into an adorable puppet. Iwata did so much amazing work for Nintendo. I will remember him most for who he was. A passionate president, who cared about what he did. A personable man who seemed pleasant to talk to, and the one who brought Nintendo directly to us. Satoru Iwata, we understand. That's uh, some uh, very powerful words there from uh, Mr. Panda. It's, it's nice to see that even though one year on, we, we, we still, still care, we still remember. We, we, we will always honor you, Satoru Iwata. We, we, we will never have the chance to, to, to thank you personally. Uh, this is from Joel Galaxy now of uh, Nintendo Universe, which is a Facebook group. He says, Iwata, just want to thank you for everything you did and for making my childhood so happy. Your legacy will live on, and I know it's been a while since you left, but you will always have a place in our hearts. Young Diwu Show, I hope I pronounced that correctly. This is a, a follower on our Facebook page. Uh, and if I didn't pronounce your name correctly, I'm sorry, I apologise. And he says, In a time when corporate interests superseded the satisfaction of the gaming community, you gave yourself to save the jobs of the creative force and Nintendo to continue the tradition of games that bring joy and satisfaction to all who would indulge it. You defied conventions and expectations of the corporate, sorry, corporate and gaming communities and in turn gave us experiences that are far more memorable than we could ever hope for. Truer to your words, you ran towards risk, not away from it. It is doubtful we will ever be graced by the presence of a man such as yourself, with the passion and a heart of a gamer. And we miss you dearly, Iwata-san. May your passionate spirit as a gamer live on in all of us. Kiyotsukete. Victoria Thorley now. Uh, she's the head admin of uh, Handheld Gaming Network and also one of my uh, writers on the Mike Tender 64 team. She says, We all must have a favourite game he was involved in. For me, it's Animal Crossing, New Leaf, in which he was the executive producer. Animal Crossing is one of Nintendo's biggest sellers and offered something unique to players. He often said that his game should appeal to a broader audience, and they often did. I still play New Leaf to this day, after three years since its release, most of the games he has worked on stand the test of time. He was intelligent and creative and not easily replaceable. He worked hard in the video game industry and I hope he is resting now. Zachary Snyder uh, of Nintendo History. He's uh, got a YouTube channel as well and he also does uh, playthroughs on uh, various games, Let's Plays and also has his own series of Nintendo History where he goes through the history of Nintendo from uh, the trading cards up till today. He says, Iwata-san was not only an amazing Nintendo president, but he was an amazing man and an amazing developer. One of the most influential games in my life is Earthbound. It's an incredible game that has brought me tons of inspiration. Iwata-san has been and will continue to be missed. Dan Sioka of uh, Dan's Gaming News, also on the Mike Tender 64 team, says, As someone who jumped back into Nintendo only three years ago, I didn't get to know Mr. Iwata too well. 
What I did know about him, however, was truly magical. The night I had found out he passed away, I was truly devastated. Because not only did the game industry lose one of its most esteemed members, we lost a human being. Through the Nintendo Directs, Nintendo truly humanised their staff. We really got to know them. They weren't nameless, faceless suits and ties. Not like me. They were Reggie Filsame, they were Bill Trennan, and they were Satoru Iwata. I would like to personally thank Mr Iwata for Pokemon Gold and Silver, Balloon Fights and Kirby. It's hard to believe it's been a year since his passing. Rest in peace, Mr Iwata. You will forever be in our hearts. I hope that those of you that watch this video and also that Satoru Iwata's family uh, would appreciate that there is still, even today, a lot of love for Satoru Iwata. Uh, that people pay their respects because he was such a brilliant man. He 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 really was. It's. I don't think there'll ever be anybody who is as passionate about video games as there will, will, will ever be, other than Satoru Iwata. I mean, the famous um, mottos of his is, on my business card, I am a corporate president. In my mind, I am a game developer. But in my heart, I am a gamer. Another motto of his is um, video games are meant to be only one thing fun fun for everyone I'll read a couple uh, more messages now this is from uh, Karibo uh, at nintendofigures.com he is our figure man on the Nintendo 64 team we post a lot of his um, articles and posts like reviews on Amiibo as you can see behind me I've got uh, quite a few Amiibo myself he, he does our Amiibo reviews and also the World of Nintendo figures and also a lot more as well, Figma figures as well, and a lot more. So please do be sure to, to check out his website too. Karibo says, As I think back to Iwata-san and the impact he has had on me, so many of the franchises I love were influenced by him. And it is hard to believe that he is no longer a guiding force behind them. Iwata-san was not only the face of HAL Laboratories, which is a name I remember from my childhood when I bought Kirby's Dreamland on the original Game Boy, but also his presence Ooh, sorry, on Nintendo Directs is still sorely missed. He was warm and charming. Iwata-san brought us the Japanese humour that so many video game players love and made Nintendo as a company feel like a close personal friend, which is no small accomplishment. As I look forward, I think Iwata-san had a vision for Nintendo and guided the company towards the NX. Many people question or just wonder what Nintendo can do to become a leader in the video game market once again. But I believe in both the company, who will be around for many years to come no matter how the NX does, but also that Iwata-san's vision will bring fun to millions of people across the globe. When I reflect about his legacy, I'm filled with many emotions. Sadness, because he is gone, and that is still hard to accept. Nostalgia, for all of the fantastic games he helped create, and that I enjoyed. Happiness, because he impacted so many, in, so many people in a positive manner. Finally, gratitude, because he shared his talent with all of us and enriched our lives. And for that, he will always hold a place in our hearts. Wow. Uh, Andrew Prusik from uh, The Legend of Zelda, Triforce Everlasting, is another amazing group on Facebook. A lot of great, funny people. Um, uh, all dedicated to the love of... The he has this to say. He says, Satoru Iwata was a legend in the video game industry. His vision fueled the production of many successful franchises and the development of some of the more recent Nintendo consoles and handholds. Handhelds, sorry. 
he will always be revered as a pioneer amongst those of us who will remember his legacy. Thank you, Iwata san. Joshua Tekumse, I hope I said that right, buddy. If not, I'm very, very sorry. Tekumse of Nintendo NX News, which is another great uh, Facebook page, which has a lot of uh, news and rumors about the Nintendo NX and uh, the stigma built around it. He says, it's simple. Mr. Iwata was a great man who loved making video games for so many people. He gave his everything he could to make people happy and gave so many happy moments in our lives. And I won't forget the first time he shocked us with the reveal of the Wii, right out of his jacket, to the awesomeness of the DS. And I will always miss Mr. Rawata and the joy he gave us all. God bless and rest in peace, Mr. Rawata. Satu Rawata. Thank you for Pokemon, for Kirby, for Smash Bros and Balloon Fight. You are a hero to us and you have enabled us to be heroes as well through our love of video games. It is a pleasure and an honour to be a fan of your Satoru Iwata. It is a pleasure and an honour to be a fan of Nintendo. I grew up in an era where it was just at the end of the 80s and early 90s uh, when I first received my first Nintendo NES. And I can remember plenty of times playing uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. That was my favourite game. Uh, Donkey Kong as well I played. And it's just an amazing experience to, to have grown up through many different generations of Nintendo consoles. Uh, my all-time favourite is Nintendo 64, hence the reason my website is called Nintendo 64, because of the my love and passion for that console. It's uh, the games that I have grown up playing to step out of 2D and into the third dimension was incredible. It was mind-blowing. And now you look at the games of today with uh, Super Mario 3D World, uh, the graphics of Star Fox Zero. It's, it's just incredible how games have developed and evolved over the years. And a lot of it is down to the passion of people like Shigeru Miyamoto, Tuiji Anuma and to Satoru Iwata for the passion that they have put into their video games and even though Nintendo they say Nintendo's down and out they say it will never be in back on top it will never uh, regain its place in the console walls well I just want to say this to those of us that are true Nintendo fans we already know the truth with Nintendo, there is no console wars. Nintendo is Nintendo. It has nothing to compete against. It's something completely different. It's not offering us the same. It's offering us innovation. It's offering us appreciation. It's the developers behind Nintendo really know how to give back to its community. They put so much heart and soul and effort into their games. It is apparent every single time. When you see that gold ticket at the bottom of every game, you know that it is quality that you are holding in your hands. The Nintendo sign of quality. Let's see if I can have that thing here. It's... Nintendo creates quality games for quality people. That's how I like to think of it. That's how I always will think of it. So, guys and girls, I would like to thank you for watching this video. To Nintendo, thank you for being you. And the family of Satoru Iwata, our hearts still go out for you.
and we know that you must deeply miss Satoru Iwata, as as we all do. And for the first time, I am I am really without words in in how just. He had so much love for Nintendo. And I do hope that he had so much love for you all as well. I'm sure he did. So I'd like to thank the family of Satoru Iwata as well. For probably help mould him into the person he was today. So thank you. Uh, to all of you that have sent messages in to us for, for me to read out, I'd like to thank you all as well. Uh, and to all of you that are watching this video, I'd hope that you do check out their Facebook pages, their YouTube channels, um, as well, and their websites, because they are really, really great, a bunch of people that have sent this in to, to really care about, about, about this video and about paying respects to Satoru Iwata. So, Iwata-san. Domo arigato. Sayonara. Until next time, guys and girls, keep on gaming. Thank you again for watching this video, guys and girls. It really does mean a lot to me and the team at Mike Tender 64. If you would like to have your very own thank you messages read out aloud, then please do leave them in the comment section below this video. Uh, you can also send them to us via tweet at MikeTendo64. You can also private message us and contact us even on Facebook at MikeTendo64. Thank you.